for traders to welcome to the first video on financial trading so the first topic on this channel will be trading view what are the tools to provide in trading view how to add stocks to the watch list and how to add indicators so let's begin okay, so let's begin first thing that you need to do is open a browser type in tradingview.com and once you're on tradingview.com you can see the screen over the right hand side you can see get started click on it then you can see sign up set up with google or facebook okay so once you're signed up you can see the screen over here over the top hand side you can see charts targets news screeners community and more right now we'll be going to charts okay so you can see the charts over here right now this is a bitcoin chart right now over here on the left hand side you can see btc usdt click on it that is all stocks futures forex crypto if you want to search for crypto click on crypto type in the crypto you want and you can see in the same way if you want to search for any stocks Characters. okay so let's see the tools that you need in our trading so the first thing that we're going to see is trend lines okay so all the tools that you'll be needing is on the left hand side over here we will be going on this section later on in the video right now let's see trend lines let's see trend lines okay so click on trend lines the first click on the point you want over here second point over here see you can stretch it wherever you want in any direction like this okay now why do you need trend line you need trend line because you need to identify the trend of the market okay so if the market is in uptrend you will draw the trend lines depending on the structure of the market if it's in the downtrend you will draw according to it okay so we'll be discussing trend line later on on the videos we'll be showing you how to draw the second tool that we'll be using is the horizontal line you can see the shortcut over here alt plus h also click on it yeah you can change the color from here depending on the resistance or support you are spotted okay so now why do you need horizontal lines to identify support and resistance in the market correct so depending on the support and resistance you can choose the color either green or red you can select the size from here on here like this Okay. okay so the next tool that you need is parallel channels okay so how to use it first click on here extend it till the point you need or drop it down or you can go above like this I'll be showing you how to use it so just wait please 
okay so the next tool that you'll be using is rectangle rectangle is similar to the horizontal lines so it's similar to same first click on here and second point to where you need you can go like this or you can go up now the rule is same as the support lines and resistance line in the support resistance line it is just a line it's a exact point for an example you want to draw a line at 100 so you draw so you draw the line at the 100 point right right now if you want to draw if if your spotted is a uh, support zone so you will be drawing like that you can change the color to green okay so the next tool that you will be needing is text once you have analyzed your chart and you want to mark it so there is a tool called text there you can move it like this Just change the size the color okay So the next important tool is long position or short position. Suppose you wanted to enter over here, simply click it. On the above side, you can see the target. Till where you want. There is a target till where you need. At the bottom, you can see stop loss. Similarly, scroll up and down like that. Going back to the same tool, there's a tool called short position. If you want to do short term market over here, simply click. Now at the top you can see the stop loss. Place the stop loss where you see and the target you need to achieve. Simple. Okay. So once you have entered a position and you need to know what is the percentage you have captured in the market, there's a tool called scale skills click on entry point and extend it at the top like this now you can see 27.29 percentage move captured similarly you can put it downside 14.89 percentage minus negative okay so now let's see these tools and the real charts There is one more tool called circle over here. Go to draw a circle, simply click and extend your cursor like this. You can do like this, you can go like this. Okay. okay. So coming back to the charts. Like I said, this is a trend line. So I'll draw it in front of you only. Go over here, select trend lines, select the first point you need until where you need. There you go. Simple. I'll be showing you how to use trend line and how to take trade on trend line in the later videos. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Okay, this is the text tool A B C and this is the circle like this. Okay. Or like I show or like I said go over here select the rectangle tool and you can draw support and resisting zones like this I've already drawn one over here because I have seen a support good support over here in BTC like this So the other tool will be parallel channel 
it first click exchange it till where you see the optimum point first click over here second click till where you need up or down okay like this why do we use parallel channels is when the market is consolidating what is in range like you can see over here in btc right now the market was up and down okay so the next tool will be long position and short position right coming back to the charts over here okay suppose you wanted to enter over here simply click on a long position click over here and you can see this pop up take the target till where you want at the bottom you can see stop loss like this you can change the color depending on the green okay now coming to the short position if you wanted to short the position over here simply click you can see at the top stop loss place the stop loss and the target you need simple these are the only tool that trader uses actually okay so there are many tools in the market you have seen they are not necessary these are the only tools that we use in our elastic trading okay so the tools have been finished right now okay so right now i'll be showing you the time frames you can see over the top over here 5 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes 1 hour up to monthly as you can see over here the monthly chart has come over here of btc simply click on monthly if you need to go weekly like this okay i'll be discussing time frames in the later video which time frames are suitable for day trading swing trading and investment okay coming to the candlesticks you can see this arrow down click on it candles hello candles line area see you go to area it will be like this but how to read charts obviously you need candles to read charts right so we prefer candles chart okay on the right hand side you can see indicators now which all indicators are used in trading how what are the time frames required how to take trades on based on indicators how to combine them with the transaction will be discussed later okay so for right now how to apply indicators simply click on indicators the screen will pop up like that if you wanted to apply ema suppose type in ema you can see moving average exponential okay click on it cancel the screen from here you can see the moving average has come right now this is by default 9 EMA which has popped now how to change it there's a setting tool over here click on it in imports you can see length 9 make it 21 if you need just for an example okay it has changed right now if you wanted to make it thick and change the color go to styles like this if you want to increase the thickness okay simple now how to add stocks right there's an icon over here like notes you can see it's written watch list and details click on it okay there's a plus sign add now you can see all stocks crypto anything you want if you wanted to add suppose solana chart simply click on it okay so you can see solana chart setup so you can see solana has been added over here on your watch list click on it it will be directly directed to the solana chart okay if you don't want the screen click on this okay so that's all for today's video
so make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we are aiming to give you the best knowledge and simplify as much as possible for you guys so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you don't miss out the next video thank you for watching finish tutorial